Hey folks, PC7 here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the Woodman's Map. Here this is, of course, I'll step out of your way, the hard-working map. Alright, we just got, uh, just set Billy Bob here to do in the rest of this field. The other two I have cultivated, as I said I would, however, by the time I got around to picking up the straw and getting the other two fields cultivated, I thought, well... It's pretty much time I render the last episode, which would be the second episode 18. Yeah, I don't know why I named them both episode 18. Well, I do know why, but you guys are tired of hearing how bad my memory is. <laughs> but, uh, track it or track it or, mm, I think we'll go this way. I have decided, since we've been making some pretty good money, that we should upgrade our cedars, so... Um... I upgraded our cedars. <laughs> Don't know why I had to pause there. So we've moved up from the uh, 6 meter to the 9 meter. Now, of course, this means we do actually have to cultivate the fields now. And... These guys are a little bit slower to seed as well. But, we will deal with that. I'm not that terribly concerned. We've got some pretty hefty tractors now. Let us buy up some seed, shall we? And I put pretty much everything we took off the, uh, off of that field in the way of straw into the cow pens. So with any luck at all, I'll just hop out here and have a look. It's just about the corner. Do, 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 do. We should start to be getting a little bit of manure. Well, actually, it's probably too quick. I just... There we go. Look, look. Woohoo! 625 <laughs> liters. But that'll come along pretty quick. We got a, a fair packet of cows, and uh, that's all they were missing. They've got all three of the main functions they require with no water mods so far as foods go so they're fine there so yeah they should uh, produce quite readily all right let's head over to our new field i really need to wash this thing so we're just going to take a quick time out because when it reaches a point where i can't see out the window comfortably then I know I really need to wash it. There we go. Alright. Dude, I have no idea why I decided I needed a chainsaw at that particular moment. <laughs> Enter. Oh, did I park too close? Oh no, I guess I can still. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's at least get the windows clean. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to look better. Get some up on the roof, let it wash down. Nah, just a second. That looks good. Alright, back you go. There we go, lovely. Lovely, lovely, we can see again. And a little more. Beautiful. Alright, let's continue on our jolly way. We'll just cut through here. To our new field. Yes, indeed. So, here we go. Now, I want to run a headland up here. That should do. Yeah, 
<laughs> Wait till we get to the other side. I actually did something kind of funny. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of funny. It's probably not so funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and... Alright, nicely done. Well, almost. You know, can I actually get back around here? Yes, we can. Yeah, there's a, a couple of trees, I think, that one right there on the corner of the field. That if we took it down, I think we'd have pretty much a fully AI-friendly field going on here. Which wouldn't hurt, because there's uh, usually, as there is in fact right now, other things we can do while these guys are busy, busy, busy. So... Corn is going in here for silage, and we have lots of the taters and sugary beets, so I'm thinking we just did a barley, let's do a canola and a wheat. A canola and a wheat. And since we have a sail point, I also got rid of the straw power plant. He's still keeping on, keeping on. He must be just about done by now. As a matter of fact. And I wouldn't mind making use of him. A.K.A. Intercept course. Barb. <laughs> Look what a good job I'm doing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Very nice. That is all of our fields cultivated. So, let's fold up the cultivator and head on back. So we're going to pick up the other cedar and I think this Taurus will be a fine tractor to do the job with. Lots of horsepower and she sits nice and stable. So, just what we need to drag around that big monster. I'm not really fond of that cedar. I might find a modded 9 meter. Yeah. Probably will, as a matter of fact, at some point. Um, you know, a nice horse or something. Seems to me there was a couple around that were pretty decent. I was going to put this on the wrong side. We actually need it to go in there. Whoa, 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 whoa get all excited hitting the curb on that building, didn't ya? It's actually a fair bit of a hump there. And if, like me, you come at it at, you know, five times the speed you should be, you can cause problems. Alright, there we go. Now... Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not fond of this thing. Not... What would our actual options be? So in normal seeding of machineries, I think that's it, isn't it? Okay, the stock ones, yeah, nothing special there. That's the same thing. Um, I think I'm actually using the OEB version. So the only reason I went back to look at the stocks. So, yeah, I am. Unfortunately, that's all I've really got in there at the moment. And considering you have to go a lot slower... I almost should have kept the... Uh, I think for the, the normal crops, I probably should have just kept that guy. Hmm. I think, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Um... We're going to buy him, okay, and then we're going to go to our garage, and get our money back. I do like the big corn seeder, but yeah, I don't really like that, <coughs> excuse me, that particular seeder. It's just so darn long to be dragging around, but uh, yeah, we lost about, uh, well, 
obviously we lost half the price of it but we lost uh, a difference of about 10k on those there we go reset yes okay plus of course whatever was in it for seeds before I sold it the last time do, 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 do. See him. Uh, no, I don't think I see him. <laughs> okay. So. Let's go to Wheatfield. before crossing the road. Why? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this isn't uh, a bad field at all as far as size goes. Holy crap. You ever going quick. Come on, dude. Wait, wait, wait. You don't see me chasing you across the field. You now you see me. Yeah. Alright. Well, this is going to be a pretty hefty corn crop. Oh, uh, what? Are you leaving weird little... You better not be, I'll tell you. This is the first time this field's been sown. You better be doing an ideal job of it. Huh? Huh? Backseat driver. How's it feel to have someone looking over your shoulder, fella? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Eh. <laughs> That's what happens when you park too close to the wall. It's kind of a zen thing, you know? You become one with the wall. Now, what else can we, should we, must we do? Seeing as these people are all so busy and everything. Huh. We certainly don't have enough, uh... Enough manure to be worrying about that yet. So, how's about, sir? Uh, who's about, sir? Uh? We'll grab this guy. Except the Volkswagen one, I know where that is. That's okay. I think this tractor's fairly strong. Now, I believe what we would like is. Uh, no. Nope. I don't want wheat. Don't want barley. I don't want cannoli. I do want corn. We don't have that much. Hmm. Oh well. I'll take what he can give me. Because I have a feeling we've been uh, a little bit off on my piggy feeding. 
I think almost everything has been going into one tip point. The other one is a little further along than I might have originally thought, so let's go have a look. Alright, now if we stop the tractor, let's hop out here. You have, okay, you've got no corn, you're low on wheat, and that's about it. You have no corn, you're low on wheat. Alright, so there we go, we can split this load of corn and we'll grab one load of wheat. And that will get all of these guys, all of me biggest, up to snuff. So if I start with this one, so what are we going to give them, say about 19, so just below 20 should be good. There we go. And let's back into the other tip point now. Okay, I'm out too far in there. There we are. And the rest of this guy. And then, like I say, we'll grab a little bit of wheat. And that should pretty much put them up on everything. They've got lots of the old mulky going on. So, one load of wheat, please. Two. Of course, we got to keep in mind we want some uh, some crops for the factory. But I guess our next harvest, maybe I shouldn't. Uh, yeah, I know there's no corn. I don't want canola, not barley. Some wheat, please. I'm starting to think now with our silo empty, maybe we're going to have to do this first corn as, well, heaven help us, corn. It might pay off to uh, sell a few more of those pellets because the pellet factory is still pretty much packed up. Um, that's probably enough, eh? 22,000 each a week. Should be more than enough. They still have 7%, but I'd like to see it full. Oops. <laughs> yeah, good job. There we go. Okay, let's take this one down. Oh well, looks like he's going to get a little bit more in that one. And the rest in here. Alright. Now they've got everything of everything, so everyone should be good in the piggy's pen. Well, I will have to figure out what the heck I've done with that other trailer. Because what I think I want to do is... There we go. Let's just shut you down for a moment and have a look. Have a little looky. In Harvesters. Select a boo. I've got this fent. Ooh, 400k. Holy smoke shows. Really? Why? Capacity 12,000. Another New Holland has got a higher capacity for 20k less. The cheapest New Holland is this guy. A little bit smaller capacity. Hmm. Well, I had no idea the fent was that expensive. What do we have in uh, 
non-mod harvesters. For 150k, we could get a smaller one. 235, there's a pretty decent sized machine, eh? 35 foot header. Hmm. Yeah, we might just, uh, I think we're gonna probably do that. Buy ourselves a harvester for doing corn. Huh. Oh, you can see our uh, Volkswagen's now filled up. I don't know if I really want to leave it here. But you can see there's only 5% uh, left in there, 2300. So, this guy over here. And this one. As only now I haven't taken any water out of this, so since we planted this, that's how much it's drawn. So they're really, really, really slow. Which is why I guess I was running out. Now I have put water in some of these, so let's have a little look, see what they say. We have 8% onions, 8% carrots. There's no, oh, maybe it was the next one. So that's 8% with no water. Maybe it was this set I gave water to. Of course, these are different crops, right? Here we go. Yeah, spring water, 96%, and we have um, a little fertilizer as well. Oh yeah, well, of course, that's um, fertilizer. Huh. How the heck would you add fertilizer? Uh, yeah, I only see two, uh, no, no, I only see two inlets, one would be your manure here, maybe you gotta add your fertilizer to the water, but this tank's 96% full. Hmm, well, there you go, so the ones with the, the with that do have water, I mean, we got 9%, uh, yeah, 9% on that one as well. Well, there you go. Of course, I don't know. Maybe uh, paprikas in the game grow faster than uh, the onions and the cabbages and such. Uh, you're doing all right. But I think I'm going to uh, hitch a quick ride across the field because I do believe our corn might be planted. Or the tractor might be wrapped around a tree or some other mysterious event. At any rate, he seems immobile. I think he's stuck. So, you may carry on. Alright, now look both ways. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> it's a good thing I always look that way first, isn't it? I wonder if that's weird, being right handed and always look to the left first. You are stuck, aren't you? Oh, yeah, here's that funny thing I was telling you about. Apparently, at one stage, I decided to not bother lifting the plow. <laughs> yeah, so we've got this nice rectangular field with this weird little uh, semicircular thing. Yeah, just quit burning the tires off the tractor. You know? You couldn't have thought to back up. Huh? Huh? Silly bugger. But he's getting there. Um, so yeah, that was, uh, as I say, I didn't notice it until I was cultivating. <laughs> so I'm sure all of you caught it when I was doing it, but uh, yeah. It wasn't until actually after I stopped recording that I realized, oh yeah, there's something perhaps a little off here. Yeah, me, of course. What the heck else would have been offering? There we are. Although I did notice that when I got the hired worker to cultivate, he was nice enough to actually make it through that without going, Oh my god, that's not a square edge. I'm bailing out of here and going home for lunch. Which is always a nice thing, because they tend to do that a lot. You know, they just look at some issues as completely unable to overcome, and, uh, yeah. 
take kind of the chicken's way out. <laughs> oh well. And thanks for the ride. Alrighty. I don't know that there's much more I can accomplish this time around. Yeah, this tree's kind of evil. I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Of course, uh, with my luck, I'll drop it and it'll fall on the field. So, I will do that when we're not actually seeding the field. Do, 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 do. So everyone's busy, everyone's got a job. And I suppose what I should be doing now is prepping the frog. Yes, indeed. Rub it. Rub it. Do, 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 do. Oh, a trip splat, yeah. That would have been real life. <laughs> it's a good thing I can't trip in this game. Whoop. There we go. Always got to jump to get in that ladder. Eh? I don't know why they couldn't have just put like one more rung. But no. I think what I really like about this thing more than anything else is the capacity. We don't, uh, we don't end up chewing through the whole darn thing in one go. Now granted it does hold a lot. But, relatively speaking, it makes it fairly economical. And, uh, you know, that's a big part of the farm internet. It's economics. So... Alright, let's start getting you got. Alright, that was a little hopeful. I think where we want to actually be is probably up here. Approximately. Do you think I could use GPS? <laughs> I suppose you could use it to keep you in a straight line, couldn't you? If you think about it. Because if I turn GPS on... Okay. Now it's only showing that narrow little bugger there. See, but I'm thinking that would still hold me in a straight line. It wouldn't tell me where to line up the next time, but I can do that. What I can't do is drive in a straight line. <laughs> uh, in case you guys hadn't noticed. Um, so yeah, let's let, let's just pretend. And try this. Go. Oh yeah, I love it. Oh, it's perfect. There's, uh, I suppose I could have started right at the edge of the field, but other than that, it's perfect. <laughs> I suppose the only problem now is trying to actually find a line that'll line up on the other end, right? Yeah. But this really helps, because like I said, I'm, I'm horrible at this. And it would appear that our corn is now planted. Surely he's not just stuck again. <laughs> or maybe he is. Alright, now. Let's figure out which of these. Yeah, I'm thinking that one too, man. No, next one over, dude. There you go. That one? That's still an awful lot of overlap. Can I get away with one more? Oh yeah, just barely. In fact, I think that's about perfect, isn't it? So let's go, click that, turn on the machine and roll. And how far, oh, look at that. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. And we're getting our last row of seed put down, perfect. So that's two fields seeded and one just about done sprayed. I will do the seeding of the other field here as soon as I'm done spraying the two that are done. And next time around, I will advance time and we will be doing harvests of all sorts. 
And, uh, yeah, I do need of all sorts. Because we will likely need to pick our grapes and possibly one or two other fruits as well, of course, as these fields. But until then, I'm going to go and uh, you better not be thinking you were just going to go and put crop down over there and use silly booger. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you liked the episode. I try my best. More close to it. Till next time, this has been Species 7 from the Hard Work and Farm and Farm Sim 15. Hit the like button, hit the favorites, the shares, all that. Take care of each other above all, and ciao for now.